Hello and welcome. Happy Halloween. Normally, this is where I would sign off for the month and see you in a couple more days, which I will do. But I decided this year that I want to remind you that Halloween isn't the end of the creepy and the scary. That there's something else coming of which you should be wary. But let's talk about it. Tis late night in Bavaria, and all through the village, the grown-ups are drunk full of beer and such swillage, while children a-tremble hide deep in their beds. Fearful the Krampus will rip off their heads. The good ones are sure they'll survive through the night, but the bad ones, well, their wee faces are white. Because they know that this year they have not done their part to be good little children, to not argue, not pick their noses or lie to their folks, not mock their dumb classmates or tell their dumb jokes. Yes, those little children, they're waking with fear, but it's too late to change, Krampus knocked his ear. They know what he'd done last year to St. Nick. It involved painful probing with a birch bark stick. They'd heard the old elf had ended life fighting, but despite all his clawing, despite all his biting, his time here on earth had dwindled and passed, and now it's their turn. Those bad lassies and lads. Away in the distance, the wind starts to blow, like the strings of a harp being touched with a bow. It starts soft and then grows louder. It wails and moans and hums. Its voice is a herald and it tells them he comes. Their runes have a chill as the temperature drops. The hair stand on end, chicken skin starts to pop, and just when they think they can't stand it no more, the soft sounds of bells ringing outside their door. It freezes their hearts, it's too late to run. Here he is for their sins, the reckoning has begun. In the old days, the witches had dealt with this beast, They'd bound him and scourged him, not afraid in the least. But these little tykes have not magic so rare. They know this horned god in his coarse hide of hair will feast on their blood, make stacks of their bones, use their tiny pale skins to recover his thrones. He will beat them with sticks. He will tear out their throats, be their eyes to the crows and their guts to the goats. He will line them all up, counting their faults by the legions, each minor fence striped on their soft skin. Then he'll bind them in chains, throw them in his dank sack, take them to hell, and they'll never get back to their homes with their hearths or the warmth of their mamas, the feel of soft slippers or flannel pajamas. Their world will be fire or all frozen in ice. Whichever it is, it will not be nice. With eyes behind palms, the poor kids spend the night finally letting down hands in the first morning light. We're alive! What a relief! They exclaimed and extol. They feel very cocky till they see the charcoal, and they know just as soon as they give it a glance that they have a fresh start. They've been given a chance, but they better be good. They'd better turn right, because the beast will be back in one year from last night, and next year they'll all scream as he lets out his yell, I'm coming for you and I'll drag you to hell.
thank you so much for supporting me during the 31 days of Halloween. I hope you have a fantastic night. Good night.